Hello Uders, this is the first video of ACS that will teach you the basics of the Yudoki, what's included in the box, the basic setup and everything you need to know. This first video is just a general overview of the board. This is the Yudoki, compact, cute and also versatile, so let's take a look at the components. This is the ESP32 microcontroller and this is the RP2040 microcontroller. They are fully programmable and they communicate over a serial line and a SWD interface. They can be used to implement your own projects or experiment with the project the UD team created for you. Additionally, in the UDK Pro, there are a microphone connected to the ESP32 and an IMU sensor connected to both microcontrollers. Since you cannot access to ESP32 GPIOs, use this Olimax connector to make complex projects using many other devices in conjunction, starting from Ethernet adapters to PIR motion sensors. The RP2040 included in the Yudoki has the same headers as the Raspberry Pi Pico. Use any extensions created for it with your Yudoki. Last but not least, there are two onboard LED on the ESP32 part and one LED on the RP2040 part. They can be used to make your projects more fun. Finally, there's buttons and there's jumpers can be used to program the microcontrollers and switch the communication with your PC using this USB-C port from one chip to the other. Neat, right? Now let's connect the Yudo key to your PC with a USB-C cable. Today I'm connecting the board to my Linux PC and after having plugged the cable, this new file appears in the file system. It allows you to communicate with the ESP32 via serial connection. If you want to communicate with the RP2040, first close this jumper and then connect the board with the USB-C cable. If you use a Windows PC instead of Linux, the file that you'll find is COM1 and the communication protocol is the same. Easy, right? Next time I'll show you the basic setup of the Yudoki. Ciao!